A very good day. Welcome to another edition of Real News, where we keep you in the real with the latest trending campus news. I'll be your host, Randy. Come on. The students' organization of Nairobi University, SONU, has opposed the suggestion by the university administration to have SONU elections conducted online. In a meeting held on Wednesday between the university administration led by the vice chancellor, Professor Mbidi, and student leaders led by SONU chairman, Babu Owino, the university proposed the introduction of an online voting system for SONU elections. This, according to the administration, would lower the cost of organizing SONU elections and improve students' turnout during the elections. In a meeting held on Wednesday between the university administration led by the vice chancellor, Professor Mbidi, and student leaders led by SONU chairman, Babu Owino, the university proposed the introduction of an online voting system for SONU elections. This, according to the administration, would lower the cost of organizing SONU elections and improve students' turnout during the elections. SONU Secretary General Eric Jaganya accused the university of jumping the gun by proposing such drastic changes to the SONU electoral system without consulting the students. SONU Chairman Babu Owino said that the online system was planned by the administration to place their stooges as leaders within the student union. He wondered why there was no consultations with the current student leaders and called on the students to reject the proposal in totality. Sources private to the meeting revealed that the administration agreed to go back to the drawing board and consult student leaders and hold more frequent meetings to iron out the contentious issues in the proposal. Reporting for Real News, I'm Randy Kamal. Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Kaimenyu narrowly survived an impeachment attempt by members of parliament early last week. The censor motion sponsored by Matoyo's MP Godfrey Odanga failed to garner the required votes. The MPs wanted to declare a vote of no confidence on the CS on what they termed as inability to run the ministry. Among the accusations that were brought forward in the censor motion include failure by the cabinet secretary to consult stakeholders on key issues at the ministry, including exam rankings. The MPs in support of the motion also accused the secretary for gross misconduct and gross violation of the constitution and other laws of Kenya. Members, I'm in the interest of time, I don't have to. A vote of no confidence on the CS on what they termed as inability to run the ministry. Among the accusations that were brought forward in the censure motion include failure by the cabinet secretary to consult stakeholders on key issues at the ministry, including exam ranking. Will not tolerate, will not stand any cabinet secretary or government official that brings a cavalier and caring attitude to public service. The MPs in support of the motion also accused the secretary for gross misconduct and gross violence of the Constitution and other laws of Kenya. There is weak leadership being provided by Kameni to the education sector. The House was treated to a comic relief when Priscilla Nyokabi, Nyari MP, told the House that Kameni is unlikely to go to heaven because he's not a good man. The motion fails for not raising the 117 members required to move to the next stage. Of the 141 MPs present during the debate, 89 supported the CS removal, 50 opposed it, while two members abstained. It failed to reach the minimum quorum of 117, therefore thwarting ousting attempts. Reporting for Real News, I'm Anna Polinari. The University of Nairobi and Uganda's Makerere University are the only East African universities to feature among the top 10 universities in Africa, according to the latest rankings of institutions of higher learning by Times Higher Education World University Rankings. Kenyatta University Students Association Secretary General on Thursday accused the Higher Education Loans Board Chairman Charles Ringera of having vested interest in his push to have KCB facilitate the issuance of health smart cards to students. In a statement, Stephen Modima stated that KUSA does not support the wallet or smart card system that HELB is planning to implement to among its beneficiaries. 
Bodhi claims that comrades all over the country were not consulted on the system and the system undermines their financial integrity. The Secretary General accused the lending body of treating students like children and insinuating that they can misuse help money. With just days to the Moy University Students Organization elections, a span has been thrown into the campaigns. According to a source within the Muso campaigns, one of the outgoing Muso directors has swindled money set aside to assist survivors of the Garissa University attack who have since joined the Eldorado-based university to finance his girlfriend's campaigns. Learning was on Wednesday morning disrupted at the University of Eldoria after students went on the rampage over an alleged payment of higher fee amount as compared to other universities countrywide. At the University of Eldoret, thousands of students led by the student leaders at the university camped outside the university's administration block from as early as 9 a.m. on Wednesday, demanding reduction in school fees. First and second year students moved all over the university compound with placards and leaves chanting, Haki Yetu, saying VC must go. The demonstration was, however, cut short by the anti-riot police who came through hurling tear gas at the students dispersing them out of the university premises. They said that the university has been converted into a business with regular students paying over 50,000 Kenyan shillings per year and their self-sponsored counterparts paying over 70,000 Kenyan shillings. That is allegedly not in the fee structure. Reporting for Real News, I'm Anna Polinari. In a move to strengthen the union between the universities and colleges located along the coastal region, student leaders from the various learning institutions in the region met at Summerlink Hotel on, sat on Saturday, 4th July, to form the Mombasa Inter-College and University Students Association, also known as MIKUSA. The Students Association, according to the leaders present, will be responsible for voicing the students' concerns and issues in the coastal region. This comes at a time when wrangles between Kenya University Students Association, KUSO, led by Babu Owino, and the Kenya National University Students Association, NUSA, led by Felix Lone, intensifies. The two groups, which have gone to an extent of conducting parallel elections, have yet again exposed the voiceless, leaving them out to dry. As Mikusa comes in, students from the coastal region expressed hope for a change of script and that the unity among student leaders in the coast serves as an example to the rest of the students nationwide. The move also comes when the nation is still coming into terms with the shocking death statistics in the universities. Reporting from Real News, I'm Robert Kriga. That has been Real News Bulletin. Thank you for watching. For more updates, go to mingi.tv and www.magazinereal.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest news when they occur, as they occur. I've been your host, Randy Kamau.